Hey everybody, this is Michael McAvoy. I want to talk to you today about the importance of nitric oxide and the implications that nitric oxide has on the body, has on the cardiovascular system, as well as its relation to the methylation cycles of the body. So first of all, nitric oxide is one of the most important molecules that the body makes. It's actually a free radical, and I know that there's people that think that free radicals are bad and should be avoided, and this is definitely true, but there are certain free radicals that the body makes that are actually very important. Nitric oxide is definitely one of these. So nitric oxide is a compound that has a lot of different physiological functions inside of the body. It's most noted for relaxing uh, blood vessels and, and having a very profound what's called vasodilating effect on our blood vessels. And this is important for anybody that has cardiovascular disease or hypertension, high blood pressure, kidney disease, because these diseases tend to feature very aberrant levels of nitric oxide. So nitric oxide helps our muscles to relax. It's very important for our heart muscles and for our uh, vascular circulation. But nitric oxide is also a component of our immune system. And actually certain immune cells like the neutrophils, macrophages, and monocytes all produce nitric oxide as a toxic agent to kill foreign bacteria and pathogens and parasites. So actually our immune system needs it. Nitric oxide is also very, very important for various organs and glands of the body. For example, it helps the hypothalamus to produce uh, a hormone called GRH. And it's also important for the pancreas and for the release of certain digestive enzymes such as amylase. So a lot of people take nitric oxide enhancing supplements to try to boost their nitric oxide levels. And this is true of the supplement of the amino acid L-arginine. But the actual research shows that if you supplement with not arginine but L-ornithine and citrulline, that these particular amino acids will actually boost your nitric oxide and your actual blood arginine levels better than if you just supplement with L-arginine. But there's actually a number of very important foods that have been proven to raise nitric oxide levels. And this actually includes the foods that uh, contain uh, nitrates in them. And this includes uh, the, the richest source of nitrates is actually found in beetroot, which I'm holding right here. And beetroot is just an amazing food and nutrient as it contains more than about 280 or 300 different nutrients. And it's, it's been shown to actually boost our arginine levels and to raise our nitric oxide. So other foods worth mentioning that will help to raise nitric oxide levels include any green leafy vegetables. And this includes spinach and chard and kale and parsley and things like this. Will also contain some nitrates that will help to boost our nitric oxide levels. So, lastly, I want to talk about the methylation cycle, and many of you have already heard about methylation. This is definitely a key compound, a biochemical process that's happening inside of our cells, and this is really important for so many things that our body does. But there's certain nutrients, specifically vitamin B12 and folate and vitamin B6, that are all very important for methylation, and so. If we have certain genetic mutations like the MTHFR mutation, or if we have certain drugs that deplete our levels of folate, methylfolate, this can cause dysfunction within the methylation cycle. And so it's important to point out that methylfolate and these other methylation reactions are very important at contributing towards the synthesis of nitric oxide. So I hope you learned a few things here, and I look forward to talking to you again in the future. Thanks.